Hi, welcome to another Ask Augustine. It's definitely been a long time since the last one. I'm back um, to the United States, I'm back home, uh, after spending about two and a half months in Europe. Uh, and it was a great trip uh, in many ways. I actually got to play some concerts, including a few concerts even for audiences. And then during the course of the fall, of course, the situation changed over there and travel became more and more difficult, more and more complicated. Now I'm back and um, I'm not quite sure how January is going to look. You know, these days I feel like everything is kind of decided like the week before. Uh, when you, um, sometimes I almost feel like I only really know whether a project is happening when I'm actually there doing it. Um, because things change all the time and certainly now the situation is very dire in the United States and also in many European countries. So um, I take things as they come. Around this time a lot of musicians have been posting, you know, kind of happy, upbeat Christmas videos. But I actually uh, wanted to talk a little bit about motivation. Because in reality this is actually a really hard time for most musicians. Uh, and me included. I'll, you know, I feel very lucky that I got the chance to play some performances uh, recently. But it has also, just for like, like for everyone else, been uh, really difficult. And I want to talk about motivation, um, what that is, what can help with it. The way I think of it is that there are actually two kinds of motivation that are connected. There's the motivation that comes kind of from within yourself, the, the drive you have to create something, to work, to practice, that you makes you want to do it no matter what. And then there is motivation you get from outside, the encouragement you get from other people, the um, sometimes even you know, things like feeling competitive or preparing for, for a goal or things like that that motivate you. And I think that having just one or the other is not enough. You do actually need a certain measure of, of both. Most people, when they start playing a musical instrument, they, they um, get kind of the outside motivation that maybe the parents or the teacher, you know, are encouraging and then uh, when you, before you show up to your lesson you are motivated to practice because you don't want to disappoint your teacher. And it's what some people struggle with is after a whole childhood of always seeing a teacher every week and you know, getting this kind of, having this kind of support system that drives you to work. And then, um, and then you go to school where that's also the case um, and then you're done with school and suddenly you have to find your own motivation. It can be kind of tough. So I think it's important to um, sort of become your own boss pretty early on so you can do it for for yourself not just to make your teacher happy but just your own motivation is ultimately on the long run not really enough and this is the problem in 2020 that a lot of musicians have felt and that I eventually also felt so when the pandemic started and everything went into lockdown and I immediately knew okay this it might be like tough to just keep practicing for concerts that might never happen. You know, you prepare for one concert, it gets cancelled, prepare for the next concert, it gets cancelled. You know, it can be very, very, uh, a, a very discouraging situation. This was partially because of that, that I set all these goals for myself to make videos of pieces I hadn't played in a long time, find things to, to work towards. For me, it was incredibly helpful though, the feedback and the support, the motivation that I got from all of you, from people who have watched my videos. And I really want to thank everyone who commented and liked the page and just supported me during that time. It's definitely normal to not be motivated all the time. I think this is something that um, people feel bad when they feel that they don't have motivation at some point. You should realize that nobody's motivated all the time, that motivation is something that changes over time. And uh, there are things that you can do to find, to, to feel more motivated. I would say the biggest thing is that when you find that you've been working by yourself and you're kind of losing that motivation, involving other people and what you're doing is helpful. If you play for, your, for other people, for your friends, or if you collaborate with other people in some way, it's just, um, it's just something that makes it, uh, makes it much easier than always just working by yourself eventually um, there comes a point when your motivation runs out and you run on empty. And in general I think everyone has to ask themselves why do I play music? Like what's really the... I mean it's, hard, it's a hard, hard thing to answer. Actually there's not an easy answer but I think part of the answer has to be that you do it for yourself. That even if there was 
no audience even if you you know if you were the only person left on the on the planet you would still maybe you wouldn't practice as hard or play as much but you would still play like there's a reason why you play music it is partially for yourself and i think kind of finding that and holding on to that can also help when the pandemic started and the lockdown started i never thought that we'd still be in this situation at the end of 2020 uh, <laughs> that kind of feels like we're actually only like halfway through the process uh, but at least there's like there's some hope on the horizon i think things will eventually get better in the next year and we need to i think support each other as musicians um give moral support to to your friends if they are struggling and if they're struggling with motivation you know listen to your friends play friends can listen to you play do things for each other to just help get past this next half year um, that's going to still be very very difficult they talk a lot about social distancing but actually i think it's it's a bad term because what's really meant is physical distancing uh, socially we should try to be um, close to each other and be there for each other and I think that's something um, to keep in mind for the new year okay I hope this wasn't too depressing uh, I, I meant this to be kind of like a motivational um, a motivational speech and then I actually meant to make this video for a while but I was struggling to find the motivation to make the video about motivation and so then it didn't really sound motivating so I hope that <laughs> today because I'm actually feeling pretty motivated, excited to make more videos again, and so I'm hoping that I can transmit some of that to you. And really thanks to everyone who's um, been watching my videos this year and it has meant a lot. It was, a, it was an enormous help to me. Alright, take care and um, happy holidays, happy new year.